So hi friends, uh, welcome back to the Koshal Vlogger channel. And for this video, the thing is, uh, recently I have been getting a lot of uh, questions regarding farm D. Like I have made a lot of videos previously regarding farm D. So uh, a lot of people have been uh, asking me some questions recently. So simultaneously, what I'll do is in the description below, I'll put all those uh, videos that I have done, talked about farm D. And in this video, what we are doing is, I have my friends, you know, uh, this is Blessy and uh, this is Viola. So, the thing is, uh, today we are doing an official video that is about our course, since a lot of people have been asking. So, let's start the video before I ask, start asking questions. Viola and Blessy will uh, introduce themselves and uh, talk about uh, their general opinion about uh, how they came to the course that is very important like how they have entered this course so we'll start with the blessing hi everyone so today uh, i shared with you my experience of how i entered farming so uh, i just knew that there is a course called farming which is six years and as far as i know i didn't want to study uh, like you know after the three years and again two years and again one year so i wanted to study something which is so uh, I want to tell you people uh, how I came to this course that is uh, my relatives or someone they were already studying family and then they suggested that uh, like I didn't like MBBS so they suggested that why don't you do family so that's how I did it. Uh, so yeah, myself Viola, uh, I came to this course by choice because I wanted to do family because one thing uh, it's a new course and I just wanted to know what on things we are studying in this and it's related to medicine so I had interest to do this course so that's how I entered in this and uh, it's a duration of for 6 years course we are studying so further uh, opinion and the next portion yeah so mine also it was choice so I actually wanted to go under farmers yet because uh, in our family uh, there was a thing that Many of my uncles are pharmacists itself. So even I wanted to enter pharmacy in that uh, same criteria. Then I came to know that uh, PharmD is equal to MBBS. So that uh, gave me a bit of uh, more confidence into entering this course. So in the other questions, uh, you will come to know more. So now we will go to the first question which is most frequently asked. That is, uh, anyone of you give a basic idea of farm D in brief if anyone is seeing our video for the first time would you get an idea about farm D? so this is a random question uh, like a lot of people have been asking so i went to many uh, places like uh, i browsed a lot and got this question so basic idea of farm D, uh, we'll start with your well. okay uh, basic idea after entering the course yeah basic idea in the sense uh, farm D but uh, it's a doctor of pharmacy, the name itself says. So it's a duration, it's duration of six years. Uh, then you're into studying a lot of uh, uh, basic uh, stuff. Like in the first year, you'll be studying you know, all uh, basic introductions. So yeah, like yeah, introduction. Uh, yeah. Chemistry. First year is more of uh, 12th. Yeah, 12th. Well, so basic you have studied basic so yeah, important is biology and chemistry. It's so, yeah. very important subjects in first year and it's a basics. So first year I guess I shouldn't get pass it's a easy subjects are very easy. Uh, so second year farm we can say that it is an action farm mm -hmm. where uh, there uh, the subjects will be going on uh, you know, specific specific and uh, so second year is action farm we can say then in third fourth year we'll be studying the uh, it's most will be focused on theory part, whereas in fifth and sixth year we'll be going to practical and we'll get many more ideas uh, and the practical stuffs. So in fifth and sixth year we'll be doing more more things, not practical things. And according to me, farm D means uh, pharmacotherapeutics. Yeah, so farm we have D is also. with terms of pharmacotherapeutics and pharmacology oh, yeah. because these two are very, very important pharmacotherapeutics and pharmacology. It's like uh, pharmacology is like father of PharmD and uh, yeah, therapeutics yeah. is mother, mother because of, um, we study therapeutics every year. Mm -hmm. That is therapy one, therapy two, therapy three. Starting from yeah, second year. Second year. In first year you study only like three subjects: chemistry and two bio. Bio and science, and only zootics I guess is uh, pharmacy Medicine oriented. Related, like, uh, related uh, to preparations. Preparations will be there. Medicine preparations will be there. 
So we'll go to the next question. Is farm wheat difficult? So this is uh, this is very 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 common question. Mm-hmm. Lots of people have been asking. So whichever course you take, it is difficult. It uh, depends on how you study. Especially if you ask me, medical oriented courses are always yeah, exactly. you cannot uh, question yourself. Once you enter, there is no turning back. Yeah, that is the most important. Yeah, you have to dedicate yourself. Yeah, you have to dedicate yourself. It also depends upon your interest. So some will have interest and the in case. According to me, if a person is not uh, able to enter MBBS, he can enter farm because uh, the stress load is almost the same. Mm-hmm. Subjects are almost the same. The only difference is so uh, after MBBS again you have to do MD or MS in order to pursue something. But in farm B, after you do farm B, there are job opportunities. You can go to abroad. Even in India, you get them. So next question is so uh, is maths physics required for farm B students? That this this question I guess Nessie should answer because uh, she came from Bangalore. Guys, I just hate maths. Yeah. The core, I think uh, we equally you, hate maths. Yeah, we all hate Even maths, maths, but so, uh, she didn't study yeah, maths. Yeah, so I didn't have maths as my subject, whereas I had a biotech uh, subject instead of maths. So I used to always wonder, like I have to go to some field where there is no maths and uh, farm be good to be a good. Uh, me and we all of me struggled yeah, and we came out. Yeah, so in first year uh, there was uh, remedial one, maths. Yeah, right. remedial maths, so one or two classes and uh, one question paper. Uh, that's it. Just it doesn't come for final if you are uh, worried about it. Just uh, for uh, M six. It, it is like uh, there is remedial bio, I guess, and remedial maths. Yeah, two are remedial bio and remedial maths, and the physics is not there. Yeah, not there. And for those who didn't take uh, physics, yeah. yeah. Maths, uh, so the fourth question we go to now. Is uh, NEET and CET mandatory for uh, getting admission to farm B? Yeah. So CET, I guess, is required. CET is required. Yeah. CET is required. Yeah. NEET is not required. Yeah. NEET, NEET, if you write, I mean, if you get MBBS through NEET, it's good. So it's better you give a shot. But you yeah. better to get uh, to give both NEET and CET. So NEET is just for uh, MBBS and BDS exam. So CET will be considered. Yeah, and yeah. every state has their own uh, exam, so you have to look into the yeah, yeah, exams. Yeah. Even uh, even uh, some universities have their own. And I guess there are uh, general category seats. So yeah, yeah. management yeah. seats are there. Not all the universities and, uh, will accept the CET. And farm B is not that expensive right now. <laughs> Future it will become. Yeah, so yeah. that is it. Yeah. Okay. So next question: Will we get doctor prefix after completing farm? Yeah, we'll be studying like uh, equivalent to MBBS, which is uh, five years of study actually in farm, which is the longest duration of study period. So yeah, MBBS, it's like five years in which four years study and one year practice. Yeah, so and then you have farm is like but UG farm, yeah. plus PG, both uh, three get, years UG and two years PG. Till third year will be UG. From fourth year, it will be complete. Last year, you get. There were rumors for like this person. I understand because there was rumors that uh, they'll remove the doctor prefix yeah, for farm B, but uh, they cannot do that because uh, this this course is not brought now in abroad countries and all. Back from 2004, it's there. In India, it started in 2008, and Manipal started it first. Yeah. Manipal uh, Pharmacy College, which is number one in India, mm-hmm. they started it first. So next question is: Farm B a yearly course or a semester course? Till now it was yearly. Yeah, it is still yearly. Yeah. If it is yearly, it's you are lucky. Good. Because uh, six six subjects per year is better than uh, six six subjects half of a year, because like six yeah, months, six in months. In a year, you have two semesters yeah. and two, four inter. And I don't know how they make farm the uh, semester system because for B farm I can understand there are subjects that many subjects are there. Yeah. But in farm B they cannot do that because therapy and you know, how they can divide it. Yeah. First of all, it's small. Again, dividing it will be like nuisance. So you have three internals uh, and then you have the five finalists. Yeah, right now, like for how for us, like we are uh, RGH is more. So for us, it's like. Now next uh, next question is what is the basic difference between farm B and B farm? This is the usual question yeah. everyone will ask. So Bessie will tell the full form of B farm and. <laughs> Farm B, you know what is it? Yeah, so Farm B is Doctor of Pharmacy, whereas B Farm is Bachelor of Pharmacy. Uh, yeah. Farm, uh, and M Farm is Masters of Pharmacy. And D Farm is there, which is a confusion. D Farm is a Diploma in Pharmacy, so there are basically I think four, uh, four courses. 
So first comes the D farm, which is two years, that is diploma in pharmacy. Then you have B farm, which is bachelor's in pharmacy, which is four years. Then you have a farm farm B, which is uh, doctor of pharmacy, six years, and M farm, which is uh, two years after B farm, that is masters of pharmacy. The main difference is that uh, yeah, for the duration of the yeah, and uh, the main thing is if you do three farming you have to do M farm after four years yeah, because your I mean, job opportunities decreases. Yeah, the main difference I can say that farm day where you can go for prescriptions. The main yeah. difference you can uh, give because B farm and all you can go for research, uh, industry kind of can go, but farm day means you can go for prescription. That's the main difference. Abroad you can go, but yeah, you know they didn't give us. To arrive to give the prescription. So, in a product, in fact, but schedules have been passing out recently. We have got clinical pharmacist rights just yeah. uh, two months back, I guess. So, there is a new criteria where after doing PAMP, you must give a job in India. Yeah, that's no more. You will get a job technician, yeah, but as a clinical pharmacist, yeah, many more. So, we we'll go to our ninth question What is D? Uh, sorry, what is farm D? PD? So, farm DPB is uh, post bachelorate in farm D. So, there we have actually uh, two of our classmates who are PB students. So, they are struggling because the thing is, PB is a special course where after B farm you do farm D. So, in this, what happens is one year increases. Now, for example, four years B farm, two years M farm, common procedure. But in PB, four years B farm, three years farm D, that is fourth, fifth, and sixth. So in that fourth year, you will be having so much of burden because uh, there will be extra subjects called therapeutics one and two. Which so is, comes in the second and third, third year of our normal mm -hmm. routine. So they have to attempt seven subjects. Upon that, hospital pharmacies will get added with the community pharmacy, which will uh, triple it up. So it, it's one of the difficult ones. Yeah, yeah. It's better you more. Yeah, seven like, years it will be. Like better you directly join into pharmacy. Yeah. Seven years, you know, better to join directly to found. If in case if you have taken B from then you want to go to found you also no problem. Yeah, yeah, there's a question on that on that so in ninth question I saw this now. Yeah. I have joined B farm, but now I want to study farm B. What can I do? So P B is the option. Like fourth year farm B should join after your four years of B farm. Yeah. Four year farm B then B is four and six. And uh, I guess uh, when it comes to D form, there is one provision where we don't have to enter first year B form. After doing two years of B form, we can directly enter third year. Yeah. Yeah. So that option is there. In pharm pharmacy, that is there. But remember one thing: you cannot go from bigger scale to lower. Like farm D to B form is not possible. From B form to farm D is possible. B form to B form is possible. B form to farm D is possible. But not uh, the other way around. But D form to farm D, I guess only one year gets picked. You have come to second year directly. Yeah. Because two six you are completing, HAP you are completing in B form. But it will be a long duration. Better to take farm D. Yeah, better to directly. So if you are taking pharmacy, so you decide and take a proper course. Yeah. yeah. And uh, not only that, now there is one other special feature actually for farm D PB. It will be like they are triple graduates. So for yeah. example, yeah. B farm. Then farm B, two graduate. Then after finishing internship, you get doctor physics, which is equal to PhD. Yeah. So it's like triple, triple degrees. Yeah. So that is one good thing. Whereas B and all, it's like Where one B, degree, two B degrees. Like, like, yeah. Now next, uh, last question of this video is farm B PhD similar to farm B? So that just uh, now we are explaining that. that. Uh, yeah, degree, so in yes. detail, what we can say is. Like after four years of B farm, when they initially come to farm B, they will be having around seven subjects. That is the different stuff. Whereas fifth and sixth year is same for all of us. They will be like with us only studying around. But the thing is, the education part, like you can understand, I guess therapy uh, one, which was in second year, consists of like 30 yeah, yeah. one, 30 topics. Uh, topics, then two also 30. Yeah. 3 also 30, I guess total yeah, 90. Yeah, but it's 1, I yeah, guess, is the highest topics where you are going to study. Yeah, yeah. Two because uh, like, okay, if I remember, I guess therapy 1, it consisted of uh, hypertension, diabetes, yeah, so 
those kinds of things and second uh, cancer those kinds of and uh, this year i guess uh, gerd gastroenterology yeah. so minor topics minor topics one is the one and two are most crucial for therapy one true true so friends uh, we'll end this video for now because i think we already crossed the 10 minutes mark so. and uh, again i would uh, like to thank blessy and uh, viola for coming for this session and uh, answering all these questions it's not easy because uh, many people have been asking me randomly again and again every year i have been observing soon after ct gets over or before ct there are like minimum 10 to 15 people who will come at it what is form d whether it's good whether you should do we don't know what was form d after yeah. joining all but one thing is that we were all by chance not by chance we were all by choice we all came by choice but still we didn't know what is the actual form d after coming to do this course only we knew about this form that we can suggest to guys Yeah. At least we can suggest after coming to form fourth year. <laughs> I started my channel in second year. So that time no knowledge, but I have done uh, videos on the books and all. So you can in the description I will put all those videos. You can uh, press those links and go to those channels uh, and view those videos. So friends, uh, thank you for watching this video. So please, please, please do like, share, and subscribe this channel. Hit the bell icon. Yeah, hit the bell icon. And uh, until next time, folks. Bye.